Welcome to a morning in my life. It's 6 a.m. and your girl is struggling. I never really been a morning person, but I have to get up early just so that I support my own well-being because when I rush, I feel anxious and when I'm anxious, it's no fun for anyone. So I've been training myself to start getting up early. That way I have the opportunity to move slow. Um, I will spend this time stretching, uh, trying to melt away any tension or stress in my body. This takes about maybe two, three minutes. And then I will go in with a short meditation just to get grounded and I will end it in prayer. Um, I know that it's very important for me to connect with God before I start because he's where I get my strength from because y'all, when my day starts, it takes off. And then I make my bed because it is the first task of the day that I have completed. And now I am going into the bathroom to freshen up. Um, this usually takes me about uh, no more than four or five minutes as well. I brush my teeth, wash my face, and um, I do any kind of um, hygiene stuff around this time, pop in my contacts, and yeah. And I have this one new addition to my routine that I just started doing, which is icing my face. Yes, uh, I know that there are some really fancy um, ice rollers out there, but I mean, this ice is free, so I'm like, why not? Um, yeah, so this is look at me dropping the ice. Uh, this is my hygiene routine. I will moisturize my face and take my time. After putting my contacts in, I will get dressed for Pilates. So y'all, Amazon has really been coming through with the super cute workout sets. I'm so satisfied with them lately. I will link that in the description box. And now I'm gonna go in and grab my breakfast. I did make some overnight oats. If you want the recipe, let me know in the comments. Um, I did link it in my Instagram story last week, but I will go ahead and link it again if you want it. Um, this is just really easy for on the go whenever I don't have the time to cook an actual breakfast. Because once again, it's about 6.30. AM. <laughs> um, I'm just tidying up, putting away any dishes, and then I prepped my cold water um, for Pilates, and I'm going to go in and take my vitamins now. So I take the three essentials, um, zinc, vitamin D, and vitamin C, and I do a probiotic probably three days a week if I remember, but I really have to get better with my probiotic. And now I'm out for Pilates. So this drive usually takes me about 12 to 13 minutes to get there, y'all. This is one of the most exciting parts of my morning because I get to go outside, y'all. I work from home all day long, so being able to get outdoors, I get so excited. Look at Chi Chi, y'all. Chi Chi is my personal trainer. I absolutely love her, although she does torture me on these reformers. My Pilates session probably takes about uh, 30 minutes, so it's not long at all, but it is the most intense workout I have had. Look at me trying to stall by talking, but Chi Chi don't play that. She gets me right in action. All right, y'all, so I am on a Pilates high right now. I basically feel like I'm on top of the world. I love this feeling. And now at this point, I'm feeling like, oh, okay, I can be a morning person. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just go ahead and open up my windows, get some sunlight in to get this day going. And I'm gonna tidy up a little bit around my desk area. All right, so I have completed my workout. Your girl has accomplished the morning. Uh, I also incorporate strength training and a pure bar, and I typically alternate it during the week. And now I'm gonna go in for a shower. 
So my shower slash getting dressed process normally takes about 30, 40 minutes. Um, I have some eucalyptus in my shower, y'all, and it feels amazing to get this aromatherapy in post my workout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare routine again, just because we, you know, we were sweating, getting it in and this little massage thing my grandma used to do. She used to swear by it to make sure you don't get any wrinkles and it's just always stuck with me. So here we go with Mac Studio Fix and in, in, in C45. Yeah. And you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I love my MAC. I also use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is my favorite. And then I go in with the Fenty Setting Powder. And then I go with my um, eyebrow pencil. And yeah, this is a very simple work from home look. I will just run the flat iron through my hair. And we are good to go. My favorite perfume, Bond, Green Witch Village. It is the ish. And then my good old Nivea. All right, so let's go get dressed. I'm just throwing on a uh, white bodysuit by Zara and my favorite green Bren Walker pants and linen. Super comfy, cozy look. And I'm gonna get in some protein post-workout. My egg bites I get from Costco. I pop these in the air fryer for about mm, eight to nine minutes just until they're uh, heated up all the way through. Uh, I did get my air fryer from Walmart. It's the Drew, I think this is Drew Barrymore. Yeah, Drew Barrymore has a line and her stuff is super cute. Uh, my kettle is also from Crate and Barrel. And this is me starting my coffee routine. So I did mention that I do battle with anxiety at times, especially when I feel rushed. So I try to opt out of regular coffee with regular caffeine. So uh, this mushroom coffee has been a game changer for me. It's made me feel so clear and relaxed. Um, I will link that mushroom info in the description box as well. And people always ask, does it taste like mushrooms? <laughs> no, it does not. After you add your favorite creamers in there, it just tastes like regular coffee. See, looks like coffee. All right, so let's head over to the desk and get the day started. So now it's going on 8 a.m. and I usually like to spend this time planning and setting intentions for the day. I do get in some journaling to clear my mind and make sure that I'm setting the tone for the day. Also, I almost forgot, I fill up my water bottle again after Pilates just so that I can have it next to my computer and hydrate because things get so busy, y'all, and I forget to take my water in. Uh, this is me prepping my breakfast plate. We still have the egg whites in the air fryer. I washed some grapes. This is my essential oil roller. I will roll this on my wrists and my pulse points and this really helps me to feel calm and grounded throughout the day. Now I'm gonna place my phone on Do Not Disturb and get some journaling in. I really just like to reflect on gratitude for the day and what my intention is, and uh, I really just like to get clear on how I want to feel for the day. And then I'll open up my productivity pad. Y'all, I love this. Not only is it super, super helpful in organization, but it's so cute. It's black and it just looks so good on the desk. Um, it breaks down the day based on your most important tasks to your secondary, to your subtasks. It usually always has a very inspirational quote at the top and it's just so sleek. I love this pad. All right, so the egg whites are done and we are about to go eat. Hi. 
So I am a checklist type of person. Whenever I can compartmentalize the different aspects of my day, uh, also I love to time block. So for those of you who do not keep up with me on Instagram, I am a full-time mental health coach, content creator, and I run my own brand and private practice. And so there's a lot of moving pieces. So I have to make sure that I'm time blocking. And so right now, after I plan everything out, I'll take a couple of minutes before I start with my coaching sessions and I will log into Instagram and chat with y'all. Um, I will rep reply to comments and I will uh, also take time to post some things on my story just to get started for the day content wise. And that is pretty much it. Also, around this time before I start my coaching sessions, I will play some really smooth jazz music. It's so calming, y'all. Check it out. So I hope that you enjoyed waking up slow with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.